Hello, I'm Anthony Hudson, and I'm so glad you could join us for today's match, which has all the makings of an epic encounter between Geelong and Brisbane. I think both teams will be a bit disappointed by the crowd today. Providing special comments for today's game is Gary Lyon. Thanks, so. that should be a great game today. Today's match between Geelong and Brisbane. confidence they're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it the banners look great as the players get set to run through them both four lines are in for a big day here this could be a high scoring affair and both sides would want to make the most of their chances inside 50. Geelong make their way onto the field, ready to put in another big performance. The banners are ready for the players. Captains of both sides make their way to the middle for the coin toss. Brisbane kicking to the left of screen. Players head to their positions as we prepare for the opening bounce. And here we go, it's Geelong taking on Brisbane. Missed the target, Conan is streaming past and gets the footy. Gathers it now, movement by hand, with the ball now. Gives a don't argue. O'Connor runs them down, O'Connor got her. Great tackling there, Hutto. Punches the kick, a good mark out of the circumstances. Van der Heuvel sends one up towards the wing. McDonald kicks it. A mark by Campbell. Marks now and can send it back. Did well to get a hand in. Where soccer's the kick. Wushnick couldn't complete the tackle. Hands that ball to the opposition. Zelke just threw it. Lining up for goal. Testing shot outside 50. Goes by hand. Is in her possession. The handball hits the target. Good mark there. Ivy, urged on by the crowd, prepares the kick, 25 metres out. Move it on. She takes aim, a good result there, and that's a goal for Geelong. Gets her first, she celebrates hard after that. Ivy gets the first goal of the match. We resume hostilities. Tap down. Clark uses it by foot, well collected, just got the hands in the back there. Kick by Anderson. Marks all alone. Moves it by foot. Campbell with an easy mark. Rushes with the kick. And the mark will be paid. Chose to kick it. Gets into some space to mark this. Conan, one out in the square. Just put her hands in the back of the opponent. And it's a free. Scoops up the ball. Now we've got a ball up. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Takes a few deep breaths before this important kick. Big kick required from this distance. Bit of an angle for this kick. Hacks it forward. Takes a simple grab. Looks up with a kick. A chance to gather the ball. Van der Heuvel gains possession. It'll be a ball up on the outer wing. Thumps it clear. Collected by Conway. Got boot to ball. Manages to keep it in play. Clark rushes with the kick. Finds this one all by herself. Uses it by foot. McDonald marks. Goes by foot. She takes the mark. 
moves it on spears the ball great mark under pressure 45 meters out She likes her chances from here. The kick didn't even register a score. She puts it out on the full. Campbell kicks hard along the boundary line. Finds a target. Channels a long kick. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. Puts boot to ball. Ends up marking uncontested. Releases by hand. Linking by hand. Pushes through with power. Collects the loose ball. Quickly onto the boot. Good mark there. Moves it by foot. Over the top of the pack. Chose to kick it. Takes a simple grab. The kick from Webster. Takes a strong mark. Transton will kick from beyond the 50. Move it on. She heads for home. A drop punt through the goals. Gets some reward for her efforts. Geelong have kicked back-to-back -back goals. 12 points the difference. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. She knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Back in the middle. Boyd thrashes it. Darby just gets it onto the boot. Ends up turning this ball over. Uses it now. Does well to cut off the kick. Clark moves it now. Good body work to win the mark. Hickey puts it on the boot. And the mark will be paid. Slams it on the boot. Going for goal number one. Geelong, Cleed is now 13. Geelong have been poor with their ball use. They've turned it over on too many occasions and it's allowing the opposition chances to score. Bates drives the kick. What a spectacular mark. Opportunity now for Skinner. Keeps the kick low. What a mark! Looks up with the kick. Just landed in her back. Decides to go to the middle. The mark has been taken. A spearing kick. She gets another possession. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? It's a really entertaining game of football. What did you make of the first term, Gaz? The Cats have come to play. They've got themselves in the game and need to push on now. Let's have a closer look at the stats. Brisbane are trying to control the play on the outside, but they might be overusing the ball a bit at times. Playing more direct might help them. Thanks. The second term ready to get underway. Centre bounce. Thump by Boyd. Thank ball you. up called. Boy just swats it away. The ball bubbling around. Bates wins the foot race. Fought hard to get a handball away. High tackle. High. Goes for territory. Marks in a bit of space. Goal scoring opportunity for Cranston. Might be too far out to score. The kick will be from a 45 degree angle. McDonald decides to go for home. Congratulated by your teammates, Geelong, but 19.
Punches are clear. Just gets it onto the boot. Zelki uses the body well. Cuts the kick in board. Taking a nice grab. Geelong have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. On. A spearing kick from Cranston. A chance to put one through for her side. The drop punt sails between the big sticks. They increase their lead. She's excited about that one. Geelong have four on the trot. 25 points the difference. Punched away. With the ball is Kirk. The ball spells the caring. Clark elects to kick. Great grab. Lutkins kicks it. She got up high, but couldn't bring it down. Into the post it goes. Geelong with a handy break. They lead Brisbane. 26 to 0. Doing well with the mark. Moves the ball by foot. A big contested grab. Looks to move it by foot. Marked by McDonald. Puts it on the boot. Conan runs onto the field. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. Bates puts it on the boot. Hacking it out of there. Hickey moves it now. Nice hands. Bates goes with the kick. Takes the mark. Bushnack with the opportunity in front of goal. Decides to kick. The ball finds Skinner. Skinner throws the ball away. Finds this and marks well. She doesn't want to let her teammates down with this shot at goal. She gives chase to the footy. McDonald just put it on the boot. Great mark. A low stabbing kick. Gary gets on the end of this. Geelong are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Goes with the kick. Ivy throws the ball away. Uses it across half back. McDonald just gets a boot to it. Cleverly soccers it off the ground for a goal. That's the first goal of the day for Taylor. Celebrating hard. Geelong have kicked the last five goals. The margin is 32. Takes that one strongly. The kick from O'Connor. Marks all alone. Geelong have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Manages to get a hand to it. Moved on by Purcell. Ball collected. Lobs the handball. Hits the target by hand. Has a runner alongside her. Just sends it into space. Slips the handball to Kirk. Tries to release the pressure. Takes possession. Rushes with the kick. They really need a goal on the board now. Brisbane fighting hard, but still with work to do. Mick Williams unsure of the next move. Elects to kick. Anderson missed an opportunity to mark. We'll get a ball up. What can you tell us, Gaz? This game needs a spark at the moment. And now we'll have a ball up. Clears the contest. The ball mopped up. My ball, says the umpire. Boy gets onto the ball. Morrison just dismissed the tackler. Collects the loose ball, gathers it now. Campbell manufactures a handball. Van de Heuvel gets the loose ball. 
Well picked up. Nick Williams. Fair to mop up. Manufactures the handball. Dug out by Campbell. It'll be a ball up. Thrashes it. Well collected on the bounce. Puts on a big hit. Bushnack goes off the ground. Sinks the slipper into it. Bates needs to execute this shot at goal. The Lions trying to get it back to a manageable score. Mick Williams ready to bring it back into play. Boy hacking it out of there. Mops up the loose ball. McDonald read it best. She can take off after that handball. Clark got hands to Campbell. A bit too casual with the tackle. Half time and it's Geelong 32 to Brisbane 2. Geelong have had a good first half. I think they'd really love to stamp their authority on this contest in the second. Here's Gary to take a look at the key stats. Geelong are on top in the turnovers. They don't allow the opposition easy possessions and that's why they're on top. Thank you, Gaz. Players taking a much needed rest as we prepare to launch into the third term soon. Second half action about to commence. We're back in the middle to resume play. Boy with a punch. McDonald gains some territory. Campbell collects the loose ball. Keeps it moving. Hickey wins it back. Releases the handball. Picked up now. Just gets it onto the boot. The ball kept alive. And the ball ends up over the line. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Umpire calls for the ball. Punched away. Just put her hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. It on. She drives it towards goal. Goes wide from behind. Geelong by 31. Unsure of their next move. Couldn't snaffle it. Conan slams it onto the boot. The ball mopped up. Going for goal number one. Easily takes the mark. Good opportunity for Geelong to put a goal through here. Ivy with the opportunity at goal. 45 degree angle. Going for goal number two. They get around her after that effort. That's six in a row for Geelong. The lead is now 37. Swats it. Finds the loose ball. Licks with hands. She's got the football now. Marks now and can send it back with a driving kick. Drops the mark. I haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. She's barely touched the ball lately. Kicks hurriedly. Morrison will be upset with that. Slams it onto the boot. Taylor just bangs away at goal. A bit too hard with the push, and it's a free kick. Kick by Zelke. Looking to bring it back into play. Strong mark in the contest. Geelong just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Where marks uncontested. Decides to kick. Marks that ball uncontested. Looks like the ball will be coming back. O'Connor kicks it to the square. Hickey takes a strong mark. Drives the kick hard. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Kirk sends one up towards the wing. Gary takes the mark. Geelong are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Doing well to intercept that kick. Chose to kick it. A great mark taken there. Moves it by foot. Brown steals possession. Finding the ball was Webb. Fights the good fight. Cranston couldn't stick the tackle. 
It's a turnover. She seems to be struggling at this stage. It might be time for a break. Gets it away. That ball comes off the post. Brisbane, still a fair way back here. McWilliams to bring it in. Plays on. Not happy with that kick as it goes out on the full. A chance here to convert for Brisbane. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. Doesn't waste any time. Landed in her back on this occasion. Right. Uses it by foot. The mark is taken by Hickey. Sinks the slipper into it. The umpire will ping her for deliberate. Looks up with a kick. Stands tall and marks. Got boot to ball. Conway was surrounded. She needed to mark that, and she did. O'Connor goes off the ground. Tackle knocks the ball loose. Quickly onto the boot. Couldn't take it. Haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. That's right, Hutto. She just can't seem to get the Goes by foot. I haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. You're right, Hutto. She's gone missing lately. O'Connor takes advantage. Just put it on the boot. Cleanly picked up. Cranston won herself a free with a driving kick. Zelke spills it. Darby picks up the loose ball. Has it now. Good mark and looks to send it back. Elects to kick. She can't hold the mark. Bates looks in need of a spell. Goes with the kick. A chance to reload the attack now. Get some distance on the kick. Well collected. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? There's just not enough effort out there at the minute. Gets the loose ball. A lot of possessions for her. The umpire calls for it. Winning it was Mick Williams. Couldn't keep the ball in play. The ball is coming back into play. Mick Williams gets it down. Hurried kick. Vander Heuvel soccer Brisbane with a lot to think about. They trail by 37. The Cats believe they can win this game. It's time to show it. Anything you can see, Gary? Brisbane have turned it over too often today. They aren't coping with the pressure. They should try and slow it down and control the ball for a moment. Much appreciated, Gaz. Let's see what this last quarter throws up. Can't afford any mistakes from here. They have to be perfect. Wushnik with the mark. Puts boot to ball. Finds a target. Fans crossing their fingers, hoping she can put this one through the big sticks. Out on the full. O'Connor drives the kick. Spent that one before she earned it. Webster wins the foot race. Wushnik collects it, scoops up the ball. Got the hands free. Goes off the ground. They can create from this. Hickey kicks the ball deep. Goes for territory. She can put it through. Picks it up. A chance to put a second goal on the board. Smiles all round. Now they lead by 43. Back in the middle now. Slapped away. A chance for Bates. The ball spills free. 
The loose ball scooped up. Releases it under pressure. Collected by Taylor. The Cats finds a way to get that one through. She'll be happy with goal number two. They are starting to stamp their dominance on this game. Congratulated by her teammates. She did really well there and gets the reward. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see that she's up and about now. Brisbane can't seem to find the footy. It's pretty simple. If they don't have the ball, they can't score. She looks like she needs a spell. Gets a touch to the ball. Conan dug out the loose ball. Uses the hands instead of the body. And it's a free kick. Stabs at the kick. Nice hands. Slams it on the boot. Intercepts the ball well. Geelong are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Doesn't hold onto the mark. Got the hands free. Going for goal number one. Close call there, but it just made it for a score. Look at them celebrate that effort. Brisbane now only trailed by 43. Thumps it clear. Has it now. Wins the race to the ball. Sweeping handball. Takes possession. Dug out the loose ball. Gets a quick kick away. Umpire not fooled by that effort. Pays the free kick. Moves the ball by foot. Gets into some space to mark this. Uses it by foot. The ball ends up with Conan. Looks to move it by foot. I hate to say it, Hutto, but this game is over. One down. Shows some physicality. Anderson gathers it now. Drives towards half forward. Off the deck. Well taken at ground level. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Tap down. Conan has the ball. She has the ball. It's offline. They'd have to take those half chances. Brisbane produced the margin. McWilliams with the kick in duties. Using every ounce of energy she has left. She's gone. Hunted down by Conway. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. She takes aim. Never really looked like going through. Let's them down there. They'll have to play it perfectly from here to get over the line. Geelong could turn the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. Uses it now. Picks up the loose ball. She's on fire at the moment, Gaz. She seems to always be in the contest, Hutto. Clark moves it by hand. Brown keeps coming. Hacking it out of there. Lutkin doesn't take the mark. Darby clears the congestion. Nobody can hold on here. Webster with the intercept. They can link up now. She gains the possession. The kick ends up hitting the post. The Cats lead the Lions by 42. Gives away a free for in the back. A chance to put one through for her side. Skinner lines up from long range. Hold on to the ball for a few moments and just take the sting out of the game. Going for goal number one. She's excited about that one. No doubt about it. They stretched their lead with that effort. Look at her. She really enjoyed that one. Geelong by eight goals. Back in the middle. Has the rucks go at it. Hammers it. Bates with the ball. She just can't get out of the action. Gehring kicks hurriedly. She takes the mark. Geelong have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. 
Marks in a bit of space. The kick will be from a 45 degree angle. Move it on. Going for goal number three. Drifts wide to go through for a behind. Geelong lead by 49. Looking for options now. Couldn't complete the mark. Ball picked up. The loose ball picked up. Finds a bit of room to mark. Kicks to the square. Great mark in the pack. Geelong haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. She's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Brisbane really had their pants pulled down on this occasion. Gary, any final thoughts? Geelong just know how to play together. It's been a solid team performance and they can reap the rewards. Cheers, guys. We're always on the ball. We play the game as it should be played. At the end of the match, Geelong defeated Brisbane 9 6 60 to 1 5 11. That's the end of today's broadcast. Thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Thanks, Hanno. Until next time. Should be.